with Storm Team meteorologist Alex Puckett on some rain we've got coming our way. A lot of rain, Kristen. A flood watch will be in place from noon tomorrow to 3 p.m. Saturday for Central Alabama. And the trend here over the past, I'd say 12, 24 hours in the models has not been a good one for us. So today is dry. Take advantage of this, particularly if you live in a flood prone area. And get yourself prepared for that rain on the way as we head into tomorrow and tomorrow night because today's weather is gorgeous. This is a live view from Gaston Riverview Medical Center. Beautiful there along the Coosa River. Temperatures in the 60s and low 70s as we head into the start of the afternoon, mid 70s this afternoon. So really beautiful weather today, but the clouds start to fill in tonight. Lows in the upper 50s, an isolated shower possible mainly after midnight tonight. We'll go to the future cast and show you this next round of rain pushing in. There's some of that rain in the morning tomorrow. That will be the light stuff. Here comes the heavy rain, though, as we head into Friday afternoon and Friday evening. And note, this is 4 p.m. Look at how persistent this heavy rain is. 9 o'clock, we're still dealing with it over the same spots. 2 a.m. still dealing with it uh, over some of the same spots. That is going to lead to a flash flooding concern as we head through Friday afternoon through Friday night and perhaps even lingering for a couple of spots into early Saturday morning. Rainfall totals. Let's go with the latest global model here. Rainfall totals widespread one to maybe three inches across central Alabama. But look at these purple streaks and the darker red showing up at some of these isolated spots. That's the model picking up on that potential for some flooding issues with some heavier bands of rain. So Everybody in the state should expect one to two inches of rain Friday into Friday night. But here's the concerning area in red here, and that includes Birmingham, Hoover, Tuscaloosa, Alabaster, Sylacauga, Alex City. Two to five inches of rain likely here. Isolated spots could see over six inches, and that could lead to some significant flash flooding issues. A couple of strong storms possible, maybe even a severe storm extending from Columbus, Mississippi to Northport. Alabaster, Sylacauga, Alex City and points south. I can't even rule out one or two brief tornadoes, but the flooding threat is the biggest impact with this system. A moderate risk of flash flooding in place from the Weather Prediction Center that indicates significant flash flooding being possible. We're talking about not just a couple of roads getting flooded, but potentially some homes and businesses too. So that's what we're bracing for Friday through early Saturday morning. We're weather aware for that and that potential for maybe one or two strong to severe storms too. Lingering rain into Saturday morning, moving out by Saturday afternoon, cooling off and getting drier early next week, but it is going to be a rough path uh, through Friday and Friday night before we can get some nicer weather in here. Kristen.